everybody. In our previous video we changed the oil pressure switch. So in this video we are now changing the oil and oil filter in the 1.2 Corsa. For those of you who want to change your oil on your 1.2 Corsa, you're going to need to jack it up safely on the sill. Ideally put an actual stand underneath to secure it. You have your oil filter is in there in that housing which we'll undo later. This is obviously how you top up your oil. And underneath, I'm going to show you the sump. So there is the bottom of the sump. Okay, we have a T45 bit in the bottom of that in our ratchet. That's what we're going to use to undo the sump. Okay, so we have a T45 in our sump. And position the bowl underneath to catch the oil. Now, as you freed it off, and then undo it with your fingers. It's a guessing game of how long the threads are going to be and you need to try and catch this bowl before it drops into the oil without you getting covered in oil So I think we're getting towards the end now because the bolt is getting quite loose and I'm going to pull it away and hopefully hold it and keep the oil going in the bowl There we go, I have the bolt, I have an oily thumb but we have the bolt Obviously the oil is nice and black that's coming out for the hard life. So we'll let that drain out and we'll change the filter. This is the oil filter housing. That is a 32mm on the top. Now it shouldn't be mega tight. There you are, look, that's nice and loose. Should be able to undo it with a spanner. I'm using a ratchet just because I'm lazy. And eventually it'll be hand tight like it is now. You can just see the oil o-ring, just make sure you don't lose that. If your new filter has come with a new o-ring, make sure you replace this. If not, just make sure it goes back in the same place. Okay, there we have our housing and that old oil filter. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to pull that out and I'll put the new one straight in. So here we have our new air filter, <clears throat> this side here clips in to the bottom of the housing which I've got a quick wipe out so it clips into the bottom and you should have the hole at the top because obviously the oil has to go down the sides or through the centre and obviously pass through the filter that's why it's blocked at the bottom so that should just push in just like that and it's ready to go back onto here so be a bit awkward with the pipes that's around We are once it's on. You can just screw that right down. Obviously, you can just quickly nip it up. Don't need to go very tight, but obviously, you need to make sure it's all the way down. Alright, that's it. It's all the way down, so it's touching on there. That's nipped up nice and tight. So, when the oil is finished dripping out, you need to give it a quick wipe to get off any oil residue and then it's just a case of putting the bolt back in, the sump bolt. So it's that for the last few drips now. Okay, so once the sump bung is back in, just make sure you get your T45. And nip it up. It's nice and tight. That way you're going to drop out on the road, and you're going to lose all your oil, and you're going to knock your engine. Now as you can see, we have a container full of old used engine oil. Make sure you get rid of this responsibly. Most council tips accept it. Just bottle it up, take it down and pour it in. Don't get rid of it any other way. Because you know, it's 
it's not good for the environment. So once you have put your sump lung in nice and tight, you just need to drop the car back to the floor. That makes sure the car's on a nice secure flat level. And then we just disconnect your oil cap. Now the course wants approximately four and a half litres. Obviously you need to fill up the oil filter housing. So we're going to put in about four litres, we're going to run the car, then we'll top it up with another half litre. It might get a bit bit messy when you pour it in, I did use a funnel, but unfortunately I've not got one. So I put paper on the exhaust to catch the oil, because obviously if the oil lands on the exhaust and it gets hot, it's going to burn you and you think there's something wrong, because it's going to start smoking. So there's four litres in now, we're going to tidy this up, put the cap back on, and we're going to start her up. To start the car up for the first time, I have to put the oil in, you need to keep an eye on the lights. There is our oil light, I know it just looks like a red blob on the camera, but it's an oil light. That should go off within 4 or 5 seconds of starting the car. If it doesn't, immediately turn it off and check the level. So, let's see how we go. Here we are. So we know there's plenty of oil. Engine management light is on for a faulty knock sensor, which I'm sure we'll end up doing another video for. So as you can see, the oil light has gone off. Sounds nice and healthy with some oil in, so we're going to turn it off now. And we'll just check the level and top up if we need to. So now we need to check the oil, so we're going to pull out a dipstick, we're going to ignore the first mark marker, I'll quickly wipe it off camera, the dipstick's nice and dry, we're going to pop it back down the tube, get in some of that lovely oil, and bring out a level. Perfect, didn't need to open up, it's to the maximum. So we have one nice happy oiled up car. Thanks for watching that. If you've enjoyed that, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions about your car or would just like to show your car off, please visit our website. The link is in the description.